once again. Well, good morning, everyone. Today has been a productive day so far. Got up and did cardio and abs. I did lists right at 40 minutes. I know the timer on the, the Stairmaster said 20, but it restarts every 20 minutes, and I forgot to set the time, so it just reset. And then did abs, uh, four rounds, about 20 reps on each exercise. Now, I know some of y'all are gonna be like, I thought you did HIIT cardio more, and that is correct. I do think HIIT cardio is better to preserve muscle while burning body fat, but I am I'm incorporating list cardio about twice a week right now and then doing hit cardio every other day that is because I just confirmed a shoot in China so when I go down to China with muscle tech in Shanghai I'll be doing a photo shoot so that gives me right about a month to be photo shoot ready uh, and that is on March 11th so I have a lot of work to do and that is why I got up and did the cardio and abs and then later on this afternoon come back in for a workout So today's breakfast is going to be a little bit different than what you typically see me eat. Normally I do carb backloading and what carb backloading is you have your fats in the morning and then later on throughout the day after your workout you have your carbs. But today is different because I got up and did cardio and abs and I'm working at new fit later on today and it's a back day. So I need as much energy as possible so today is going to be a little bit higher carbs. Uh, let me show you what I'm having. Two packets of this instant oatmeal Shelby picked up the other day. It is the HEB brand. It is sugar-free maple brown sugar. I got two packets. And then for protein, I'm having a scoop and a half of the Nitro Tech Whey Gold uh, Double Rich Chocolate. That is probably my favorite flavor they have. That and vanilla funnel cake. I'm out of the vanilla funnel cake. And it's only bodybuilding.com exclusive. So if you want to pick that up, you can. I just made a big order. Uh, yesterday because they have 20% off I think just this week on muscle tech products so if you want to check that out I'm gonna have the link down below in the description but now I'm gonna eat so I got done with breakfast and about to head to new fit got an early appointment today it's a 1 o'clock normally I go around I don't know 2 or 3 o'clock uh, so the last vlog I mentioned that I was gonna be going back to Memphis to watch the Super Bowl with my family and we did that I did not vlog at all uh, but on the way back uh, we kind of had an incident. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what that incident is. I'm gonna let you go back, watch that clip from a few days ago. Well, turn of events, we were just in a pretty major wreck. Uh, we didn't get destroyed. We are just blessed. Uh, just God completely just protected us because it was, I thought it was gonna be bad. I've never been so scared that uh, you know, we were gonna have a just be crushed because this is what happened. Let me kind of explain to you. The cop car's right behind me, but we're in this little Ford Focus, this little bitty car, and um, we're on the interstate, pretty much coming to a stop. Now I know you can't hear me, uh, but we're coming to a stop, and there is a, a U-Haul that decided he was gonna get over when all of us were slowing down. He was gonna go to the right side, I guess, to pass all of us. You know, be one of those jerks that is gonna you know go way up and then get in the left lane so he decided he was gonna get right but he could not slow down in time or uh, something I don't know he didn't turn in time but I could see him in my rearview mirror but he smacked the truck that was right behind us it was a Ford smacked him and the truck went right beside us here just flew past us on the left side of the media smacked my window or my mirror took took out the mirror and the U-Haul flew past Shelby's window and ended up in the front of this 18-wheeler and I just knew we were about to get smacked from the back. We're all sitting here just shaking and stuff because it was it was so scary, so scary. So now we're filling out 
uh, the police paperwork and stuff. We're trying to figure out, you know, what goes down here. I've never been in a wreck with a rental car and had a U-Haul involved, so uh, we'll see how uh, this turns out. Yeah, so the only damage was the mirror and it dented up the car back here, but the the U-Haul was right behind that truck, so the truck was right here. And when the U-Haul hit the truck from the on his right side, that truck went on the left side of the medium right there, went down, ended up past that U-Haul up there, and the U-Haul went to on our right and flew up there and then went in front of that 18-wheeler. And yes, that's what's going on right now. We're just waiting it out. So we were truly blessed that no one got hurt during that accident. Uh, we haven't heard back from the rental car company. I'm sure that's going to be going on later because I'm sure it's going to be a big deal to get all that you know fixed and stuff. It's going to be all under, I hope anyways, that U-Haul person. We haven't talked to uh, the insurance companies. Uh, I'm sure when you rent one of those U-Hauls, you have to get some kind of insurance because I don't think they would let you drive it. So I'm hoping that their insurance takes care of it and so we don't have to get ours involved. Talking about the Super Bowl, yes, I was pretty devastated that the Patriots lost, but it was a great Super Bowl to actually watch uh, the whole time I was at the edge of my seat. So it was good to see another team actually win the Super Bowl and stuff. I mean, Tom Brady has so many, but I was really wanting them to get that win, of course. Uh, but like I said, it was a great game. Uh, about to head to the gym, like I said. I uh, just got my pre-workout, and I'm going to be sipping on it uh, when I head to the gym because New Fit is about 20 to 25 minutes. So if I drink it right now, I'm going to have major road rage. I'm not sure if I'm going to be filming the workout at New Fit, so if I don't film it, uh, I will show you all a workout that I did with Stuart when I was back in Memphis. It is very nice waking up and not having to redo my hair today. Uh, this is from yesterday. Uh, so my hair product is on point because I literally woke up like this. I, woke up like this. I was going to take a shower after doing cardio, but I knew I would have to take another one after my workout, so I'm just going to take one after. One hour later. Well, just got done killing a back workout at New Fit. I did not record it, so you're going to be seeing a workout that I filmed in Memphis with Stuart, so I hope you enjoy that. What is going on everyone? Today we have a shoulder workout and this was actually the day that we had the wreck. So this is the morning before uh, the wreck happened. Uh, this was early morning. Now I have respect for people that have to go into the gym early. This is around 6 o'clock in the morning because we had to drive so we had to do an early morning workout. And my strength levels were insanely, like I was really weak this day. Uh, and I was trying to push myself like I, I felt great going into it but just in the morning I just feels like my muscles aren't awake and I'm not able to use near the same amount of weight like it was really tough so I have you know big respect for people that have to go in you know before work and stuff so as you can see we started off with dumbbell seated press we did five sets of anywhere from eight to ten reps so pretty heavy. Uh, we did a lot of warm-ups. I think I ended up doing maybe like three or four warm-ups because in Memphis it is really cold and it took a while for my muscles to actually feel warm enough to go pretty heavy. So I ended up doing the 110 pounds for the eight reps. Now this set that you're watching is on the fifth set and we did a double drop set. So I started off with 110 pound dumbbells. I think at that point maybe six reps and then drop the weight immediately, grab the 80 pounds, and that's what you're watching right now, and then drop it once more to either, I think like maybe 45s or 50s, and just did as many reps as I could do. So just going to com complete failure on every single one of those drop sets. And it was super tough, I'm telling you. For whatever reason, me working out in the morning because don't mix that well. I can go to the gym and do cardio, hit cardio, you know, all kinds of stuff. But working out, I just can't do it. Look at all the dumbbells. That was like a graveyard of dumbbells. We just did drop set after drop set. Uh, so after the press, we did a giant set. And a giant set is three exercises all together. Uh, we did a straight bar. Uh, front raises on an incline. So the incline was a little bit above a 45 degree angle and all we're doing is just doing front raises. This puts tense tension on your delts uh, a little bit differently. So you know if you if you're standing up straight the tension is at the top of the movement more. In this the tension is somewhat at the bottom more. So you're doing you're going to failure. I try to hit for 10 reps 
and then stand up and then try to get another 10 reps. So just normal barbell front raises. And then after the front raises, we went on to dumbbell side raises and tried to get 10 to 12 reps of those as well. We did four sets of these. Uh, this was a killer. After doing this for four sets, we felt like the workout could be over because it was so intense. Your delts and your shoulders are just on fire uh, because it hit pretty much all of your shoulders, all your delts. I mean, you're hitting your front, you're hitting your sides. The only thing it's not really hitting is your rear delts. And that is what we hit after this exercise. Ah! Now moving on to another giant set. So we're working rear delts, uh, side delts, and rear delts again during this uh, giant set. So as you can see, we started off with the cables, uh, two handles, just pulling it back, doing some face pulls. So what you're trying to do is pull that cable a, a, as far apart as possible. We did four sets of these, uh, just like the other uh, giant set. Uh, and then straight into uh, just plate side raises. Now, you're going to ask, why are you doing more side raises? It's really to deplete the muscle as much as possible. And using plates, they feel different than just using dumbbells. So I went to failure doing side raises and then just bent over and then did reverse flies. So working the rear delts again. Now, you're not able to get as many reps as what you would do if you started off with it. So I was only able to maybe to get like six reps of each of those so six reps of side raises and six reps of the rear delts but that's totally fine because you know we're working that muscle to complete exhaustion and that's what i was going for during this workout so after that we finished off with cable presses a little bit different i've never done this before stuart was like hey let's give it a try so what you're doing is you're keeping one arm up at all times and you're going to do 10 reps on one arm and then hold that other arm up and then do 10 reps on the other and then you do 10 reps both arms at the same time uh it was almost impossible <laughs> like uh i i think this was like the fourth set and i think i only got like eight reps with both arms so i didn't make the full 10 because it was just so so hard but it felt really good uh this was the last set we did five sets of these but on the fifth set, so this was the fifth set, we didn't do the one arm at a time. We did both arms at the same time because we did an extreme drop set. So I would just go to complete failure and Stuart would drop the weight by only one pin. And then I'd go back up, try to press out as many reps as I could do. We would do that until we got up to, I think I started on maybe the 70s or 80s. And then we went down all the way until it was just like 20 pounds on there. And only and, and I was only getting like three reps on each one of these sets, but that's what I was shooting for, and it was a killer. So give this workout a try and let me know how you enjoy it. Now on to the rest of the video. Post-workout time, let me show you what I am having. I have a scoop of the Celtech Hyper Build by Muscle Tech in the shaker bottle, and then I also added uh, two tablespoons of this L-carnitine. This will help with recovery and then have a scoop and a half of the Nitrotech Whey Isolate Gold mixed with some unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna eat that, and then I'm gonna have a bowl of this Rice Krispie Treat cereal. I haven't had this in a very long time, maybe, I don't know, five years or something. When I first had it, it wasn't my favorite uh, cereal that I remember, but I haven't had it in so long, so I had to try it again, so we'll see uh, if it's gotten any better. Oh, and I love Rice Krispie Treats, so that's why I got this cereal, because Rice Krispie Treats are probably my favorite like dessert ever. Now eating my third meal of the day. It is brown rice, chicken. Uh, it's around five ounces of chicken and rice, I would say about half a cup. Uh, I was just cooking it, so that's why the door is open. That chicken seasoning, I die every time I cook that stuff. <coughs> what do you think? Pretty day outside? Just sitting out here enjoying the day too. It feels absolutely amazing today. Look at this view right outside my apartment. Gainer, what? What is it? Ending the vlog here, guys. Uh, nothing much is going on inside. Uh, we're just gonna chill out for a little bit and enjoy the rest of the day and then eat one more meal and then I'm gonna be going to bed. 
Uh, tomorrow I'm thinking about doing a whole video of me kind of explaining what my plans are uh, getting ready for this coming shoot. So I'm going to give you all the details and stuff, but that's for a later vlog. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys. Peace. About to head to New Fit. I uh, got an oily. Kind of oily.